When you're Iowa's dealer for life, you do things different. And as your dealer for life, we've driven together for over 45 years. Carl Chevrolet, we're proud of where we're from. We created a premium car buying experience easy for anyone. We serve more Iowans than ever with more locations and more brands. So together, let's drive from your first car to your last car, making memories along the way. We'll always be your dealer for life. Hello, friends. Welcome to Post Game with CW here on the Cyclone Fanatic Podcast Network. Of course, we are live right now on Cyclone Fanatic social media feeds, and I do want to acknowledge that I know David Carr is either about to wrestle for a championship or he is wrestling right now. I am not trying to overshadow that or step on that. Uh, I just have a limited amount of time here in the media center. So I uh, hope David kicks some butt and uh, just wanted to say that off the bat. Uh, and if you all want to update me in the comment section, I would appreciate that. I'm guessing we have a little bit of a li lower live audience tonight because you all are out partying right now. After Iowa State 67 to 56 win over Washington State, I just got out of the locker room. Aiden Wyatt has been kicking butt back in Ames, getting those videos up onto YouTube and to all of our social media feeds. So you can go and check all that out uh, whenever you have time. Uh, we'll be working late into the night on uh, having those completely available for you. Rob Gray is working on a piece right now as well. Um, you know, the first thing I would say about that win for Iowa State is when, you know, when we talk about this team's more tournament proof, like that was a, that's, that's why what you just saw tonight, um, because you start off three of 16 or three of 17, whatever, whatever it was, it was, it was really bad. You know, and you look at the scoreboard and you're like, Oh, it's only a, it's only a six point game. It's like Iowa state can't really shoot any worse. I didn't think they were getting bad looks. I think it took Iowa state a little bit to get adjusted to that Washington state length, which, which we all, you know, knew. I think we knew that was going to be a, an issue at least to start for the Cyclones. Um, but they, you know, you keep at it on the defensive end. I thought Iowa State did a really good job of not forcing bad shots with that length. It's easy to settle for bad threes. Iowa State only took 14 of them. He made half of them. Um, you know, and really the stat uh, that that won it for Iowa State, we 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 pretty much thought, guys, that points off turnovers was going to tell the story in this one because you didn't want Iowa State to be in that half court set against that length. And the Cyclones had 21 points off of turnovers compared to only four by Washington State. That's that's the game. That's the game. Iowa State goes into the second half tied, comes out, forces, let me see, four state turnovers in the second half. Felt like more than that, to, to be honest with you. Uh, they stay with the pressure. And, um, you know, shots finally started to fall. Sorry if I was blowing your blowing your ears out. Aiden Wyatt tells me that David Carr has a takedown in the first four seconds of the match. Oh hell yeah. Um you know that's a again that's a game that you knew again you know, we knew going into the tournament had this conversation a lot on these shows Iowa State was not going to keep playing at the offensive pace that it was in Kansas City. At some point they were going to have at some point, they were going to have uh, not a letdown game, but just a game where you're not hitting every shot. And and that was tonight. That was tonight for the Cyclones. Go 40% from the field. But you did all the other things really well. Love 14 assists on 23 field goals. Uh, and, and just you got contributions from everybody. This was a perfect team win. Uh, guys I like to highlight, maybe I spend too much on them. But the unheralded guys like Demarion Watson, who, you know, you know how hard it is to play the role that Demarion Watson is right now. Like you, you don't even play in some games, and then it's like, oh, we need your defense, and he goes out there and his lights out. What about um, Hassan Ward? Right, like talk to him in the locker room after the game. 
he didn't play as much as he wanted to last year. I thought at one point, I didn't even know if he would come back. He sticks it out and maybe didn't even have the senior year he wanted to because he got hurt. And he is one of the most valuable players on this team right now. Completely changes the game when Ward's in there. I love me some big Rob energy, but Ward is at a different level right now. He's doing everything so well for Iowa State. I wanted to recognize him. Uh, I wanted to recognize Trey King, another guy who does all the junkyard dog, like, gross stuff. Man, Trey, the fadeaway tonight. Did you see Tame and Lipsy's step back threes? Where in the hell did that come from? That's hard work. That's hard work. Uh, that's a off season of hard work. So props to all of those guys. Keyshawn Gilbert goes three of 14 from the field tonight. Wasn't falling much for him, but still Otz told me that he assigned Gilbert to uh, who at Wells at halftime said, knock it off, dude. This guy can't do anymore. What Wells do goes one of five, four points in the second half. Not bad, Keyshawn. Not bad, brother. That was awesome. Um, and then I think Curtis Jones is such an awesome story. It was cool. Like there was a moment, I think Iowa State's 0 of 4 from the field, start the game. And or no, 0 of 7, I think is what it was. And I'm watching the Marion, um, Hassan and Curtis check it into the game. And I'm specifically watching. Um, it was Curtis said something to Hassan. You know what they were doing? They were planning the lob. He told me that. I thought that was good insight. They were planning the lob. Those two guys were like, hey, we got to bring energy. We've got to turn the tide here. Because the problem when you're playing Washington State is they play such a slow tempo that if you get down double digits, it's like being, if you get down 10, it's like being down 17 against a normal team, right? Because they play so slow. So that was a really crucial moment when those guys checked in. Curtis hits that three, another Hassan lob. The offense didn't really turn around too much at that point, but it at least stopped the bleeding to not let that thing get out of hand when you're really struggling from the field. 7-2, car leads. Thank you, everybody who's keeping me updated. But, yeah, I just uh, – sorry, it's cold in here. Sipping up my vest. Um, my my overall takeaway from that game, and I, and I don't know. I, I think he'll, I don't know who's winning the Illinois game. I, I haven't seen. My overall takeaway is that you knew you were going to have a clunker somewhere that had the ability to be a clunker, but Iowa State didn't let that happen. And that's what makes a good team great. And this is now, you know, in the realm of history, a great Iowa State basketball team. Four NCAA tournaments now in 10 years, three for or two for TJ Otzelberger, first Iowa State head coach in history to do that. And um, Illinois is big, up big. All right, so it'll be the Illini and the Cyclones coming up in uh, Boston next Thursday. Who's ready for that? Good stuff. Uh, just on all around, the, the crowd was amazing. You know, the crowd was just – thought it was uh, – that was definitely the best NCAA tournament crowd I've ever seen, but that's not – Fair either. Iowa State really hasn't had many of these games that are close since I've been covering the team at least. Uh, it, but it, it was electric. the The pregame, the pregame atmosphere in these two, or I thought the crowd maybe it was a little bit hungover today. Not kidding. I but that it didn't take them long to wake up. And in these teams, like you gotta you gotta stop talking shit to Keyshawn Gilbert. Like I, I don't know. I don't know, maybe Keyshawn's a big talker out there and I just don't see it, but it just like this is it's backfired against for two teams now. It's like, wow. So what a what a really great weekend 
here in Omaha where you play not great. I don't think they play bad tonight. I didn't. I just thought they couldn't. I don't know, this didn't hit a lot of shots. Um, and you still win by double digits in the round of 32. That's it's impressive. And on to Boston we go. I want to thank all of our sponsors, Carl Auto Group, Keen Project Solutions, Central States Roofing, Fairway Meat and Grocery, and also my friends at Country Landscapes for all of their contributions here to, to send us on the road with the Cyclones this March. I'm going to shut this thing down so I can go watch the end of this David Carr match because it looks like it's getting nasty. And uh, we will have complete coverage of everything tonight, all night long. And then Williams and Bloom coming up on the podcast network, of course, tomorrow. Appreciate all of you following along. And uh, we will talk to you soon.